Hey guys, Dr. Pete here today, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, lower back disc herniations. I've been getting a lot of patients and questions uh, from people asking about um, L4-5 or L5-S1 disc herniations. If you are suffering with that, you may have low back pain, you may have radiating pain, sciatica down the back of the leg, into the side of the leg, into the foot. It can be really painful, it can be really debilitating, and of course most of the um, you know, things that people do for uh, disc herniations, they're going to be taking medications initially. Um, they may go and if it's bad enough, you know, see a surgeon for a consult. And that almost always involves doing something to the area of the problem where, or where we think the problem, which would be the L4, L5 disc. But what I want to do with you in terms of my approach is just show you that, you know, what I'm wondering as a chiropractor is what is it that is going to be causing those discs to um, herniate or uh, protrude and put pressure on the nerves in the lower back. Um, because a lot of times it's actually problems in the spine above and below. So with our patient here, if you just turn around, and if I just sort of line up the spine as to where it would be on her, um, this is L4, L5 in the, in the tailbone and the sacrum. So this area, often in most patients, um, although they may feel some like tightness of the muscles down here, usually the, mobi the mobility of the lower back, the lumbar spine is quite good, but often they're gonna have um, restrictions in their spine above the lumbar spine, so in this sort of transition area in the mid back, or below L4, L5 in the pelvis, so the, the sacrum, the sacroiliac joints, or actually the hip joints. And if those areas are not moving correctly, they can actually cause the lower back to move abnormally. These L4, L5 discs, S1, to get more pressure on them, which can cause them to wear out, which can cause symptoms there. And so another approach to care, instead of doing something to L4, L5, will actually be to work above and below to restore normal motion to those areas get the pressure off L4, L5, and give that area a break and give that area a chance to heal. And we have to remember that if for a lot of people, the complaint of a lower back tightness, muscle tightness, and pain um, is actually because L4, L5 are doing too much work, they're getting inflamed, and those inflamed joints down there are causing these muscles to spasm. And that's not necessarily something that we wanna take away with like a muscle relaxant or some type of therapy but we wanna actually get better function to the spine from below all through here, even into the neck, which, and it's the neck and the nerves that come through the neck that control a lot of these lower, uh, especially postural muscles. And if we can get the spine moving better and aligned better, that's gonna take the pressure off here. In turn, those muscles are going to function normally or relax because now they're not, there's not as much irritation or inflammation down here. Um, so it's a different approach to dealing with L4, L5, S1, problems, L4, L5, disc herniations, is to um, get the pressure off this area rather than try to go in and, and treat or fix right where the pain is. So um, that's the video for today. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.